Now, your weather alert forecast. I'm 3 News Now Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppel with this latest weather update for 3newsnow.com. In the morning, we start off with a mix of clouds and sunshine, and a few shower storms start to build back in again, mainly to the west of us. So between Wayne, Norfolk, and Columbus, you could see a little bit of activity developing. Winds pretty light, morning lows very comfortable, upper 50s, low 60s. By around lunchtime, still looking at overcast skies, could see a weak little wave pass through around mid-morning. But for most of us, drier conditions right around lunchtime, the winds do start kicking in from the south about 10 to 20 miles an hour. That pushes in more humidity, a lot of moisture. Along with that, we start heating things back up again. So as the winds continue to kick up, the chances for storms also start picking up back to the northwest of us. So northwestern Iowa, north central Iowa, that's where I think the highest storm threat will be. Could see a little cluster of storms working its way into the evening hours over Atlantic, Carroll and Denison. But you can see that most of us stay on the dry side. So if we do see anything developing, even though we do have a threat for some isolated severe storms, I think the highest chances for that will mainly be off to the east of us between Denison, Carroll and Atlantic. And if any storms do become severe, hail, winds and heavy rain will be the biggest threats that we will see with these storms. Now over the next 72 hours, really the next 48 hours, even higher chance for some strong and severe storms on Friday. Officially, summer begins just a little bit before lunchtime. High of 85, even with that chance for rain around. Looks like some heavy rain expected in the morning and possibly late in the afternoon and evening. Some early morning showers late in the evening on Saturday. Most of the day looks dry for us, high of 82, so we scale the heat back just a little bit. Cut it down to about 80 on Sunday. Still a chance we could see a couple showers popping up, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Dry it out for Monday and Tuesday, but the heat definitely starts building back in again. By the middle part of next week, we're up to 88 degrees for the afternoon high.